So I'm making food from every single country in the world in alphabetical order. Right now I'm in the letter B, cooking a dish from Belarus. So over in Eastern Europe, between Poland, Russia, Belarus, there we are. And I'm making the Belarusian national dish of draniki. It's a potato pancake. So I found a recipe on the Belarus website. It's direct from the source, and this is like the ingredients that they list. You know, it's not a lot. It's potatoes, an onion, some salt, oil, sour cream. And this is a wild card, but I'm gonna use some chives because I think that would go nicely on top. Although I don't know how authentic that is, so. Now you look at these ingredients and you can understand like the hardships that people go through when they, you know, don't have a lot of money or ingredients to make something. So they use what they got and they come up with something delicious. So I'm gonna use some russet potatoes today. Okay, I don't know how many people the recipe I'm following along to is for, it doesn't say. It says I need 12 potatoes, but this is just me here. It's just me. I found another authentic recipe that says that I can get away with one kilogram of potatoes instead. So yeah, the 12 potatoes is now turned into one kilogram. 2.2 pounds of potatoes. I think that's just around three potatoes. Grate it up. With the coarse grater. Next up, I need my onion. Finely grate this with my grater on the fine side, very fine. Oh, that's gonna take a long ass time. Is that even gonna work? Okay, so while I'm grating up this onion, my potatoes are starting to turn color, oxidizing too fast. My eyes are crying. The onion will help you keep grated potatoes from turning brown. So I gotta add this onion in ASAP. Okay, this has now turned into a race against time because those potatoes are browning fast. As soon as you get onion, add it into the bowl. Could have used a bigger bowl. Emergency bowl switch. The lesson here is to grate up the onion first. seem to have held off the potato browning any more than it did. So about a half teaspoon of salt. On the safe side, I'm gonna add a little more salt. Maybe just a couple cranks of pepper with my very slippery, that's, should have washed that hand. A couple cranks of pepper. Mix until a smooth consistency is obtained. Cool. Cast iron skillet. Five tablespoons vegetable oil around medium heat. The victim right there is proving to me that this oil is ready. Recipe says grab a tablespoon, but I think I grabbed around a golf ball. I'm gonna add it there. Give them a little smush like a pancake. Holy shit, that oil. Okay, turn the heat down, turn the heat down. I need a thicker, uh, here. I'm gonna use this instead, as thin as I can get them. I'm looking for a nice browning on each side. Two to three minutes on one side, then I'll flip it over and repeat. All right, I'm gonna be done talking for a bit. I'm gonna turn on the fan. So Belarusian housewives say if there's too much liquid, drain it. Obviously not on the cutting board. I'm just doing that because you're here right now. And then there'll be starch at the bottom of the bowl that will help bind this together better and be less runny. Once it's golden brown on each side, take them out. So I loaded up the pan with way too many of these things and they kind of started to fall apart. But once I started to remove a few of them, um, you can just piece them together really easily. So they're very resilient little things. Have these on a baking sheet because it's essentially like deep frying and I don't, there's a lot of oil that they absorb. So I'm just making sure that whatever oil is attached to them is draining from them. Sour cream there, some chives on top. And that does it, order up. So this thing is amazing. You're like, take a bite and you're expecting like, you're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna eat a hash brown. But it has that onion flavor in there, which is 
so damn good. It's on another level, this thing. Making sure you have some sour cream in those chives. It's got a lot of flavor in it for just very few ingredients. It's really awesome how that happens. The only gripe I have is that they're kind of oily. Like when I was frying them up in the pan, like they kept absorbing the oil, so I kept adding more and then they've just retained it. Honestly, that's just something to improve on on second time. You can make them thinner, crispier. You know what, I'm not really complaining because I love them. They're beautiful how they are. Okay, while I was cleaning, I was thinking, is this the same thing as a latka? Potato pancake, jerniki, latka. Different name, but all the same deliciousness. Shout out to these guys over here, my Patreon supporters supporting the show. If you wanna check out what's going on over there, there's a link in the description. I'll see you next time in another country that starts with the letter B. See ya.